Hello! My name is Audrey and welcome to my channel. I am finally back to posting. Had a little uh, spurt of anxiety, you know, a couple months worth. And I'm really going to try to vlog as well, so if you're like interested in that stuff, um, I'm super interested in it. But the people I watch nowadays seem to be like, I don't know, pregnant and stuff. And nice bra, Audrey. Um, and I'm not, you know? So I'm gonna put more contact, contact, con tent out there that's regular old life but fun in your 20s so subscribe but the whole focus of this freaking video <clears throat> let's her make her debut beautiful singing it is the conspiracy palette with jeffree star and jane dawson and oh my god oh my god i have been sitting on this bad boy for like a month so I finally got the courage and this is what I came up with. I am so freaking stoked. I have never done a cut crease and I managed to do it, but it looks cute, right? Like it, look, it doesn't look too bad, you know? To my own horn. And I've never done something with like the white either. So if you are a beginner and you want to walk this journey with me, just keep watching baby or if you're not a beginner and you want some good conversation because I talk throughout the whole entire thing and that's the only thing you see, you don't see my freaking face makeup, it is focused on the eyeshadow, talk a little about the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson series and Tana Mojo, Jake Paul, we're just going to talk YouTube and my anxiety. So yeah, if you're interested in that, talking about my mental health together, um, just keep watching. Here it is. Here it is. Look at it! Oh my god. So I also think that I might do a cut crease, cut crease, which I have never done before. So we'll see how this goes. I'm very nervous. This is not coming out how I wanted it to, so okay, I'm here for like the millionth freaking time. But I just have not liked every time. I've started this and you know why it's because like I said at the beginning it's my first time doing a cut crease baby it's hard so I'm gonna go in initially with flaming hot okay so like right here I think look at me I'm a freaking artist baby and with this I'm just going in with into my the deepest part of my crease um, and then out on the outer sides. But anyway, I was in line and I like blacked out like very much so. I ended up adding um, somehow two palettes to my cart and I didn't understand how. I paid for the two and knowing that literally all of my friends, um, we were like watching the series and talking about it together so I knew at least one of them would want to buy it from me if they hadn't gotten it. Or I would keep it for myself because honestly, it's I love it. So I get it and it doesn't ship, I think for like a week and a half or two weeks or something. And I really wanted to do it before I went on my business trip for Taiwan. And they started processing the order like a week before I where it was going. And I was like, yes, they're gonna ship it. I'm gonna be able to film this video and edit it on the 18 hour travel one way. So I didn't get it and then once I got back, I honestly, the holidays and stuff and I just didn't fucking film anything and obviously I haven't filmed in a while, but to be quite truthful, part of that is because I literally feel like a boy without my false lashes on. As you can tell, I don't have them anymore or eyelash extensions, um, but I've gotten over that. I realized we all just can't be that naturally gorgeous. So sometimes it's a give take, baby. And right now, not that good looking, but I can deal with it, you know? Next thing I'm doing, I'm going to go in with pigment, this one right here with a cute little piggy in it, and put it on a flat shader brush. I don't know, I'm making up names, honestly, I have no idea. And I'm just blending out Flaming Hot a little bit. Kind of just adding another layer. So, here's the steps of it. 
Ooh, blended out. Ooh, yeah. And now I'm going to go in with food vibes and cheese dust. I'm gonna mis mix the two and just kind of blend it out further up. I was just watching Trisha Paytas and um, Shane's video on her Dish with Trish that she has, which is like her podcast. And they're just the cutest. Their relationship is freaking adorable. It hurts my heart watching them because you know it's like so real. And like Trisha cried. It's so, oh, it's just so cute. And like I remember, like they always talk about um, Shane when he like broke his leg um, back in the day. And that's like when he was really depressed and Trisha was there like helping him and stuff. And I remember those videos so much, not knowing like what he was going through at the time. So it's kind of cool, like. They always talk about it, so it's kind of cool hearing it now. <laughs> what he was going through and how bad it was because, I mean, it just puts it into perspective. A lot of people have anxiety, it's a real thing, you know? Or it's nice knowing that the people that have that type of platform are talking about it more. Because it's such a real thing and it's just so annoying that some people just write it off like it's not. So now I'm gonna go back in with Flaming Hot, that beautiful red right there, and just kind of deepen it up because we lost it again. I wonder if I should just do, see what orange looks like doing in there. Mm, that works a little better actually. Yeah, definitely shouldn't have mixed. Oops. Oh uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have mixed uh, food vibes in there, but you know, you live and you learn, baby. I'm just playing, so if it turns out a wreck, just know the product is wonderful, okay? It's freaking superb. Why did I, how did I get on that? I don't know. Sorry, I'm literally just like rambling at this point. I am going in with a big old fluffy brush with nothing on it and blending this stuff out. Uh-oh, she's dipping into one of the darkest colors. In the palette, we're gonna see where this goes. But I'm gonna go in with Not A Fact, which is like this purpley color now. Wish me luck, baby. And I'm kinda gonna go in exactly where I went with Flaming Hot, um, just a little bit less, like more on the very outskirts of it and, and the deepest parts. Really focus it there. Oh yeah, that's what she's been missing. That is it. So yeah, let's talk about it. Um, Jake Paul and Tana Mojo are done, baby. We all saw it coming. We knew it was coming. But they were really cute and it really does make me sad because she just came out with like a video talking about like how much it hurt her and stuff. And then next thing you know, um, she's like with him in somewhere that's snowy, which I'm like assuming is Ohio, which like, hey, I'm here, come hang out. Um, and she was there with him and like they were making, I don't know, like she was, he was like making jokes about the divorce and stuff and like, I get that that probably was like completely fake, but the girl obviously has some real feelings for you. She was sitting there basically like crying on her biggest platform she has besides Instagram for 40 freaking minutes straight. Going back in with pigment and doing the blending thing to kind of blend the two together. They blend like fucking butter. Wow, this boggles my mind. I'm going in with cheese dust and like blending it at the very top. Very little amount. Now, I'm cutting my crease. This is my first time ever cutting my crease. I'm very freaking scared. People get it so perfect. My brush is stupid. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, that's definitely how they do it. Oh my god, I'm learning. Jeffrey Star, put me on your PR list. Okay. Dude, you can tell that I'm like super nervous right now. Because literally my face is getting so red. Like, I'm just like, oh, oh, oh don't fuck it up. Also, the shot glass of water is making an appearance again and I'm going in with a flat brush and just getting it wet a tiny, tiny bit on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna go in with, you guessed it, freaking Trisha. 
I'm so stoked about it, okay? Like, I'm really actually excited about this. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Look at Trisha. Trisha is a queen, a goddess, baby. Uh, all right, let's see here. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. I mean. Okay, 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 she started. Okay, she started. Also, this color is freaking stunning. Go Trisha. You got like a beautiful color on this palette. Lucky duckin'. Honestly, I don't even think that you like need to go in with it wet either. I thought it would like make it more pigmented, but silly me. It's Jeffrey we're talking about. But I'm gonna go in and just deepen it, deepen the not effect up again. I'm gonna blend them together. Go in with pigment and kind of blend out. Um, not a fact, because she was pigmented. Not a fact was, and also pigmented. Oh my gosh, though, let me tell you. Me getting off my eyelash extensions has changed the makeup game for me. I'm not kidding. But yeah, it's literally crazy to me how much simpler it is to do my eye makeup without eyelash extensions. This like, is what we got so far. Hello? Okay. She's coming together like pretty freaking damn good if I don't say so myself. Okay, so now I'm dipping the teeniest of tiniest, look how tiny that is, brush into the water and going into ranch. I know. You're th well, I know what you're thinking. Audrey, the that's bold, baby. And you know what? I've already semi-accomplished freaking cut crease baby so why not try to go all out Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god i'm just so excited that this is like brought out like I, i've never i don't think i've ever been this creative with eyeshadow before like yes don't get me wrong i freaking play with colors baby all day long but like a cut crease We'll do a little swoopity, swoopity. Swoopity, 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 swoopity. But I'm going to do my face off of camera, pop some eyelashes on, and do the under eye. Let me get that. My face is done. So I'm going to go in with a larger brush, um, blending brush. Cheese Dust, which is this one, and my pills, that's Tanacon, my pills, which is that one up at the top, and kind of combine them to just to lighten up Cheese Dust. I'm gonna put that a lot, um, bring it down a lot, because this is gonna be my larger color down here, so. Like I said, start off less, ladies and gents. Whoever you are or want to be, you can be it. Okay. And I'm bringing it down relatively a lot because that's just my personal preference, honey. Now I'm going to go in with the E36, which is a very tiny little brush like this. The pig and the flaming hot. And put that in tighter and closer to the lash line. Ooh, that looks pretty bish. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Now that's done, I'm going to get a very tiny brush like this. Um, a flat blah blah blahs brush. Not a fact, that deep dark purple that we did on the outsides of the eyes. And I'm gonna dip that in there and do it the closest to the lash line as possible on the bottom. And I'm gonna keep this one mainly on the outside. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with cheese dust again, kind of blend it all together. This is the final look. As mentioned, I really normally do not do crazy eye makeup, so like this is very out of my comfort zone. My first time doing a cut crease, like literally ever. So yeah, I'm very, very freaking happy with it. So yes, I'm very happy I got my hands on this. They are top favorite YouTubers, especially Shane, and I know, how could you choose? But like, I have been watching Shane since I was in junior high. And I, so I've been watching him for years on end and just seeing him succeed and everything like that really warms my heart because like everybody says he deserves it. And 
if you liked this video please like it please comment and please subscribe join my little family we're growing we're getting there but join it <laughs>